Yo, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hamilton, and today we're going to be going through the Bitcoin market. So let's talk about the short term, mid term and long term trade setups, as well as the trend and overall sentiment of the market. But before we do, be sure to like the video. And also before we do, let's get on with the news. Breaking news. In today's segment, we'll be exploring three major stories that could have a significant impact on Bitcoin and the broader crypto markets. We'll cover the surprising change in stance from JP Morgan's CEO on Bitcoin, the latest Ethereum ETFs, and the alarming news of suspicious withdrawals from the crypto exchange WazerX. Stay tuned to find out what these developments mean for the future of cryptocurrency. Our first story centers on a major shift in sentiment from JP Morgan and Chase's CEO, Jamie Dimon. Historically a vocal critic of Bitcoin, Dimon has now changed his tune, expressing a more favorable outlook on Bitcoin and the broader crypto market. This change comes amidst a massive surge in Bitcoin prices, sparking speculation about what might have influenced his newfound stance. We all know, come on. For Bitcoin and the crypto market, this could mean increased legitimacy and potentially greater institutional investment. A shift in opinion from such a high profile figure in traditional finance might signal to other skeptics that it's time to take digital assets more seriously. Next, we turn our attention to Ethereum ETFs. All applicants for the Ethereum ETFs have now submitted their final forms, moving one step closer to potential approval by regulatory authorities. If these ETFs get the green light, it could open the floodgates for institutional investors looking to gain exposure to Ethereum without directly holding the asset. For Ethereum, this could translate into increased demand and potential price boosts. But what does this mean? This could essentially set a precedent for other cryptocurrencies to follow, further integrating digital assets into mainstream financial products. Lastly, we delve into the concerning news from crypto exchange WazerX, I don't know how to pronounce that, but we'll carry on, which has reported $230 million in suspicious withdrawals, with $100 million involving the Shiba Inu token. This incident raises significant concerns about security and regulatory oversight in the crypto space. For the broader market, such events can undermine investor confidence highlighting the importance of security measures and transparent operations. In the short term, this could lead to increased volatility, particularly for the asset involved, while emphasizing the need for enhanced regulatory frameworks to protect investors. That's all for today's news segment. Stay tuned for more updates and insights. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment to let us know what you think about any of this news. Thanks for watching, and back to you, TA Hamilton. Okay, thank you, Mr. News Hamilton. Let's jump into some macro stuff and then we will jump into the TA where I'm going to give you some trades that you could potentially be looking at, right? So, looking at the markets right now, we can see that, uh, yeah, still pretty green across the board. I would say it slowed down a little bit. Tron getting obliterated, though. Look at that. Disgusting. Disgusting here. Um, <coughs> Uniswap also not doing that well. But uh, overall, yep, yeah, looking pretty green across the board. If we're looking at fear and greed, we have come down a little bit as we did have a bit of a cooling off uh, last night and yesterday uh, after this news pump, right? This event pump. Um, so yeah, just, just worth watching. I would just say this is more neutral right now. Not crazy greed, not, uh, not crazy uh, fear, right? It's just normal in the middle right now. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. But yeah, nothing to say there, really. Uh, still no update from ETF flows let me let me know guys what's going on here i don't know if you guys know but this just hasn't updated in a few days not great from from the block here and uh, not great at all get this ad off my screen dude yeah not great from the block but um yeah we'll, we'll keep an eye on that as well Besides that, we have energy consumption index creeping up a little bit, but nothing crazy. Again, as you guys know, um, we want it up here, right? We want it to have an upward slope. This is directly correlated with Bitcoin bull markets. Okay, right now uh, we have come all the way down to basically a neutral stance. So uh, yeah, when this starts going up again, it's a great sign for bullishness in the Bitcoin markets. This is the fun bit. I've got some new stuff to show you here, guys. Uh, so stick around. We've got uh, energy value, right? So this takes a look at all the mining and then predicts a value for Bitcoin. Uh, the value isn't that important, except when we get above it, massively parabolic. Okay, this is when the bull market starts. So in terms of uh, following this channel, right, if you want to know when the, the we go parabolic, just follow and I'll update you and let you guys know uh, when this does happen. As of right now, yeah, we need to get over 77.2, but this, this number will fluctuate and be fluid, right? Uh, if I'm just looking at this heat map right now, so liquidation heat maps here, guys, just refresh this real quick. Uh, we are playing within a range of uh, 63 
65 and 65.4. Okay, we have had some new liquidations appear here as some leverage junkies have gone long. <laughs> Dirty junkies. Uh, they have gone long here, uh, and we can see that um, that that yeah. I would I would say just looking at this is that we do come down a little bit here. So uh, potentially, if we lose this kind of 64.5 area, uh, then potentially a little short here, a little short down to about 64k for what like. 0.8% trade, something like this, right? Um, I did want to show you some more stuff on this chart. So let's just have a look. Yeah, neutral still here. Neutral updated on Monday, right? This was updated at 60,000. So when this does start going up again, and when this turns green, again, super bullish, like you can see this, right? Massive parabolic run when this turns green. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, I do have another thing here. Where is this? Where is this thing? It is, no, this one. Yeah, so uh, hash ribbons. Hash ribbons here coming through. Uh, we can see minor capitulation. This is another great sign of bullishness. It's not always correct, but um, the indicator I'll show you in a minute is like super correct, like 80% of the time, probably one of the best indicators and free indicators uh, in the crypto markets. But we can see here uh, when these guys cross, right, you, you buy Bitcoin and you can see if you bought it here, um, yeah, it, it's 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 massive. Okay, this this was what in like 2023. So yeah, you would have made serious money. Well, I'll show you that on the chart in a minute. But the main point here is yeah, still in minor capitulation mode uh, with these being crossed towards the downside. When they cross towards the upside, we will get another hash ribbon buy signal, and then boom, <coughs> boom, we go from there. Sorry, I've got a bit of a sore throat <coughs> at the moment here, guys. Just trying to hold it back. But um, yeah, we can see. Let's go over to these charts because this is what's important here, right? So we have Bitcoin on the shorter time frames first. We can see that, uh, yeah, we have lost that 60 minute volume weighted ATR band. We were looking for a trade. I did tell you this in my free update on Patreon this morning. But uh, yeah, we were looking for a trade when the 60 minute and this trend line meet. If we were to go down at that time, then uh, yeah, we were looking for a short. Unfortunately, no, we, we had another little wave up. And um, yeah, I mean, Nothing crazy, but yes, once we lost this 60 minute, uh, we came down to this trend line. What we wanted to do was have these two meet and then find the short. That did not happen. Criteria was not met to make the trade. So we did not make the trade. We did not lose any money. We are chilling out here, just waiting for that next one. But where's the next trade, I hear you ask? Well, the next trade I'm looking for here, guys, is from around 64.5, this kind of area, okay, down to about 64,000, down to this trend line, down to this uh, horizontal support. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's a bit more of a, a gambly trade, I would say, but the big trade here, as you guys know, is if we lose this structural line here, okay? So this structural line coming from the beginnings of our pump here, if I just get rid of this real quick, there we go. Yeah, so this structural line, we're looking, uh, what we're looking for is to lose not just the line, but also the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band, this bad boy here. When we do lose that at around 63K, we'll be looking for a trade all the way down to about 60K, which will be, which will be where the CME gap is. If you don't know what this is, CME does not trade in the weekends. It is where all the money is. So we expect these gaps to be filled. This isn't just something with Bitcoin. This is something with pretty much every market. If there's a CME gap, it gets filled, okay? With Bitcoin, typically 80% of the time it gets filled within a week, okay? Um, other other markets and assets will, uh, will vary uh, with that, right? Some of them take years to fill. Some of them take months to fill. Some of them take days, right? But Bitcoin, typically, it is within days slash one week, two week time period. So uh, we do have a 4% gap here, which is huge. So what we're looking to do is find a short when we do break structure and this momentum wears off all the way back down to that 60K region. And then from that point, we make money. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> like the risk reward trade here is ridiculous. Uh, I would not fade this one. This is probably one of the biggest trades of this month, okay, if we can find it. So yeah, keeping your eyes peeled for that is going to be super, super important. Uh, if you don't have the volume weighted ATR bands, you can get it in my Patreon. But uh, if you if you don't want to get it in my Patreon, absolutely fine. You can, uh, you can just draw this trend line in as well because it's roughly the same time period at the moment. But it won't always be, right? If time goes on and we stay up here for some time, then this will be below it. And then, uh, yeah, you're going to have to come back to the channel to kind of see where that entry will be. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've got lots of space here. We've got 5% even if this does kind of go parallel. So yeah, we'll just wait for that one. And there may even be a trade here. Uh, let's say this does do something like this, right? Uh, there might be a little trade here as we break this one. 
down to that anyway for one percent so we'll keep an eye on that one uh, that is something that is good okay that is this is all of the the big big trades i'm looking for here over the next kind of week or so uh, besides that here yeah i'm just highlighting this trade that i just talked about the first trade so again uh, from 63.4 63.5 that kind of area down to about 63.7 all right uh, besides that guys if we are looking on the longer term macro type of thing uh yeah we've got these massive trades lined up this is more swing trading guys rather than scalping and you can see here right all we got to do is break this all-time high at 74k we got 11 percent trade up to 82 we did talk about this uh on on this chart let me just show you bada boom bada bing we did talk about this earlier on this chart right 77.2 there right so if we go back to trading view now 77.2 is roughly uh, yeah, in between there. So yeah, I would say we go parabolic from there anyway, but you could, if you were a bit more cautious here, guys, you could, um, you could take it from 77 to upwards and then trade that all the way up to this middle linear regressional growth curve, uh, the rainbow chart, as some people call it, right? Going from the, the beginnings of Bitcoin's history, but we love to oscillate and test this thing. We get lots and lots of, uh, convolutional, price action from this thing, right? So we'll, we'll be watching this for a take profit to say the least, but also when we get over it, we'll be looking um, for a high to break after retesting it and then banging that thing to the hundred and two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin mark right um right now the top of the run is predicted to be around 320k here if we are following these linear regressional growth curves so uh yeah fantastic stuff here if you do find that investment based on everything i've said in this video right um Besides that, if we do get the Swan event that we have been talking about, right? We saw Bezos selling some of his uh, some of his shares there. When big billionaires sell their shares, typically we get a black swan that follows, <laughs> right? Um, just speculation here, of course, but uh, it's happened many, many times here. Pretty much every time we've had a black swan, a billionaire has sold a lot of shares beforehand. <laughs> okay, so what we will be doing here, guys, just from that speculation is eyeing up trades, of course. And if we do lose 52,600, there is a massive 8% trade down to about 48K and maybe even lower from that point. We will see how it goes. Uh, we do have our main structural line. If you are worried about that, don't worry. It's not gonna be the end of all the runs, okay? Last Black Swan, we had Bitcoin like 17 x or something like whatever it was. It was ridiculous, right? We had this black swan and Bitcoin just went up forever, right? So when the markets are scared, they look for a safe asset. And when, it, when the current safe asset is Bitcoin, i.e. if Bitcoin is super cheap when that happens um, and Bitcoin is correlated with all the other markets, so it typically does become super cheap, right? Then, uh, yeah, people just pile in because it's the safest place, right? If everyone puts their money in one place, everyone's happy because they're like, oh, it's going up, Ponzi, wow. So, yeah, that, that's just how Ponzi's work. That's how the whole financial global markets work, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on what your job is. My job is fortunate, okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we can see. We can see the main point here being as long as we stay above this line here on the daily. So this uh, this trend line here from the bottom, our bear market lows here, right? If we stay above this line, okay, which is currently, if we were to dump down there today, would be around $43,000. Okay, so if we stay above $43,000 uh, or wherever this line is, according to the day, then uh, yeah, that is something that, uh, that's good, right? That means it's a buy zone. That means we can ride up from there. Uh, if we, we get below this line, very, very bad. We probably look to come down and test our lower linear regressional growth curves where basically it is the bottom for Bitcoin every single time, right? If, if we hit this green line, it's a buy every single time, okay? This is the investment line. Um, we've never lost it. We, we should never lose it. And uh, yeah, it is something that's, that's, that's the one. That's the one you, you want to go with, particularly in bear markets, right? But as of right now, we're chilling. We're waiting. We're in the middle of this pattern. Uh, if we are looking at the volume weighted ATR bands here, we can see... We can see, uh, it really didn't help much, but we can see here that, uh, yeah, we're just between that four hour volume weighted ATR band and the upper three day. Uh, the fact that we're above this three day is good, okay? But if we can break this high at 66.6, it's even better because we'll be above the four hour, we'll be above the three day. And when we're above this three day, like significantly for a long amount of time, you can see it's just the ultimate the ultimate thing for our runs, right? So you can see here, last time we got above this at 12K, we just banged it, okay? Um, bear market begins when we lose it, of course. And um, 
yeah, we did lose it briefly here, but it seems that we've re reclaimed it since. And this is a super bullish trappy structure, I would say here, right? This would go down as a bear trap, particularly on like a weekly or something like that, right? Yeah, you can see that. So um, what we're going to do here is just wait and see how this reacts. If this does want to come down and test these lower levels, not fantastic for Bitcoin. It's actually more indicative that we come down and test this line uh, at some point anyway. But as of right now, in the middle, everybody chill, look for those scalps, be aggressive with it, and um, yeah, be patient with it as well, right? Very, very important. Wait for your trade. Like 80% of trading is waiting, right? Bit of advice here. 80% of trading is waiting, right? You have your setup, you have your criteria. If you hit all your criteria, you bang it in because that's your edge, right? Your edge is how you make money. Do not just bang it in going, oh, I think this is going to pump long because <laughs> that's not how you that's not how you trade okay i've been doing this for eight years guys um and yeah if you've been if you've um if you've been in this video right obviously you have <laughs> but uh if you've been in this video this long guys be sure to leave me a comment okay leave me a comment saying hmm, what should we say today Bitcoin is good, okay? Bitcoin is good. If you comment Bitcoin is good, I'm going to give you one week on the volume weighted ATR band trading indicator for free, all right? Just because you've watched this video all the way through, I really appreciate it. And uh, also, as well as that, guys, feel free to check out the Patreon here. It's completely free to join. You get one free uh, signal per day, uh, which is this one, right? One free signal per day uh, in which... I just walk you through the trades I'm looking for, as you can see there. And then if you want to upgrade from there, which is 10 bucks, and then if you want the indicators, it's more and more and more. Uh, but yeah, you get these trading setups every single day from me, okay? These are the memberships. You get a lot of stuff. You get... Um, what do you get? <laughs> you get an ebook with my top 30 picks for, for crypto, right? A 30... Uh, a 500k strategy. Sorry, I'm super tired, guys. Uh, and you get all of my indicators, you get trading signals, you get um, lots and lots and lots of different stuff here, as well as a, a direct DM line with me. So feel free to uh, ask me any questions if you are in this as well. But um, yeah, that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye from me, Hamilton. Cheers.